mean, what can I say? I'm starting this episode today looking like an alien or somebody straight out of the 80s. Well, minus the hair. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Woolly Mastodon Creates Podcast, episode 26. My name is Tori or Victoria, the mastermind behind the crazy, and welcome to this little part of the internet. If you'd like to find me elsewhere on the internet, other than YouTube, of course, you can find me on Instagram as Victoria Schwanke, Ravelry as Lil Westy, L-I-L Westy. You can find me on the blog, of course, woollymastodon.wordpress.com, of course, YouTube, and then you can also find me on Facebook, but I'm not as active there. Um, with that out of the way, um, it's going to be a short episode this week. I don't have a whole lot to show. I haven't worked on a bunch of stuff this time around because we were on vacation last week. And I really didn't knit a whole lot. But that's okay. Because um, maybe I'll get some more done today. It is, in fact, the 4th of July here. Uh, so 4th of July, it's a lovely Saturday. It's a beautiful day. It's very hot, though, so... We're going to be staying inside today, but we were going to end anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, I'm already rambling. We're two seconds in, and I, I said I was going to have a short show because I didn't have much to show. So let's just hop into the episode today. Um, I do have one finished object, and it may be no surprise to you that I did indeed finish my socks. Um, these are toe-up socks. Uh, follow, I use a formula that I kind of developed over the years. Um, with a forethought afterthought heel. In other words, I put a strand of, I knit a waist strand of yarn where the heel is going to be, and then when I go to knit the heel, I just pull that out and knit from there. Uh, these are knit on patents, or these were knit out of patents croy in the blue striped white, blue striped rag colorway, and these were knit on US ones, which are 2.25 millimeter needles. Um, I'm super happy with how these turned out. I really don't have many pairs of socks that are a little more neutral, and yes, these are neutral for me. <laughs> but I don't have many pairs of socks that are somewhat neutral, and this kind of fits the bill. I They're a little more subdued is the correct word, I suppose, because um, there's nothing neutral about these. But I really like them. They're done, they knit up quickly, uh, I finished them. Actually, I finished them the same day that I podcasted, so two weekends ago, I finished these that same day, so they're done, and they are ready to wear, so now I can put them in my stash to wear when fall and winter roll around. It is far too warm to wear anything remotely wool around my feet right now. But anyway, that is my first and only finished object, and I'm going to stash these on the table because my makeshift sock blockers have strings hanging off of them and midnight is in here. If you hear any rattling or anything, she's in her basket, so she is right there. Otherwise, moving right along, works in progress. Not much has changed. Um, I'm going to hold off from showing a couple projects. I did make progress on my Tanya pigged up um, by Caitlin Hunter, but I've literally just knit stockinette, so there's really nothing to show. Uh, so with that, I will move into the next project. Again, I haven't made a whole lot of progress on these. Uh, this was one project that I did bring along on vacation. So I brought along uh, <laughs> Terrell Dago by Caitlin Hunter. I didn't touch it. So I have made progress since we last podcasted, but it's all progress that I made when I, since I've been home. So this is Terrell Dago, Caitlin Hunter. I'm knitting these on US 3s. Um, let's see here. 3.25 millimeter needles and then three skeins of yarn. Um, so I'll show those quick before I get into the project. I am using, this is Knit Circus Greatest of Ease in the High Voltage Speckle colorway. Uh, let's see here. And then I've got, what is this one? This is Hedgehog Fibers. Which kind though? This is in Twist Sock. And this is the anime colorway. And then I'm also using, my last color is Knitted Wit um, Singles uh, Fingering Weight in the Hawaii Volcanoes colorway. And so these are what I'm knitting this out of. Uh, let's see here, let me wrangle the yarn because I do have a cat in here. She may be somewhat sleeping, but she will be here in the drop of a hat if she sees yarn flying. Um, <laughs> I'm failing so hard. <laughs> Uh, keeping these wrangled. But anyway, 
when I last podcasted, I had finished, or I was working on the color work section, which you're really not going to be able to see, because I used two, it's going to be right here, I used two low contrast colors. Um, I promise you, if you look closely, the neon yellow is leaves. Um, I can actually see it sometimes if I'm paying attention. Some spots are better at seeing it than others, but otherwise it's just a very textured knit section. You may actually be able to see it on camera. Now that I hold it farther away, you may be able to see it. And then since that, I finished the color work and I have since knit some stripes. Oh, my needles. I just tried to escape my needles. Um, but yeah, uh, this, is, this is to a point where I'm going to be knitting stripes for a long time now. So it's kind of back to a kind of mindless project so I can work on this a little bit more. And I'm really enjoying it. This is really fun. It's growing now, so the rows are taking a little longer to do, but nothing I can't put a podcast on or a YouTube video and just knit away on. So this will certainly get worked on this weekend. I've been really enjoying it. And that's just the bulk of the progress I've had on that. So I'll stash this away. And, yeah, I've, I've really been enjoying that knit. The neon colors are certainly up my alley. So, we'll stash that away. I have worked ever so slightly on my next work in progress, which is the Shadow Play Wrap by Alexandra Tavel. Um, I say ever so slightly because uh, um, I'm kind of doing something... So I lose the yarn. Uh, I'm kind of doing something slightly different with this. Uh, the pattern suggests you knit a certain amount of rows and then you switch over to the next color but I have this much yarn yet and I only have to do two rows um, after I've knit a few rows of my next color so I'm going to keep knitting out of this until I have about two rows left of yarn and so that I use up as much of the yarn as possible um, but I am knitting you I'm use knitting I am using Barocco Vintage as the yarn it's a wool acrylic blend I believe. Yeah. And it's really soft. This is going to be huge. This is going to be a beautiful shawl. And I'm using US 8 5mm needles. Just kind of winging it. This is a free pattern, by the way. Uh, you can pay for a PDF pattern or you can get it free out the free pattern off our website. So however you, were cho you would choose to look at it, it is available. But I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's certainly getting bigger. I've put on, like I said, I put on a few rows since the last podcast because I am going to add more purple than is initially intended. So I've got the gray and then I've got the purple and then I've, as I've showed many times, I'll move into teal and then I'll finish off with this peach color and I think it's going to be fantastic. Uh, but again, not a whole lot of progress on here. I mostly worked on it last weekend and then kind of put it away because I didn't bring this one along. I figured it'd be far too warm while we were on vacation and it was a good thing I didn't bring extra projects because I really didn't need them. Um, that is my uh, almost second to last work in progress that I'm actually working on at the moment. Um, my last work in progress is, you may have already guessed, I cast off a pair of socks, so I have to cast on a pair of socks, of course. Um, so I cast on a new pair of socks, and let's see here. And I didn't even list them in my list, so I'm going to have to get creative here. So these are another pair of top socks. I'm trying to find my ball band here. Oh no, I don't know where it is. There it is. Um, I cast on another pair of toe-up socks. This is knit out of the Opal Rainforest Collection, and the color is Sweetie. Um, so this is a German yarn, German sock yarn. It's a little more expensive, but it's very hard wearing. So I really enjoy the socks that I've knit out of this before. Um, I am knitting these again out of a, on a US 1 2.25 millimeter needle, and this is the ball of yarn. It looks a little smaller, and that is because I've already finished one sock tube. Uh, so on vacation, I actually wound this into a ball with the help of my grandma. It was she saw that I was trying to like wrangle the 
scheme that this was in and she was like here let me help you and she helped me rewind the ball so that was actually a good memory to have with these socks uh, I started them on vacation she helped me wind that up and then I knit uh, right about here I believe or no I knit just before the waist yarn on vacation so I knit the better part of the foot and then this past week around work and in the evenings, like on breaks and stuff, I knit the last rest of the sock. So I have one sock tube done and I have started on the toe of the next one. So honestly, most of my knitting has gone into these socks, which is perfectly fine, except I finally need to get in my button gear and get some yarn for my husband and my dad because I really don't need that many more socks right now. Um, I should be knitting socks for them. So, I've got another pair of socks. These are really pretty. They're a bright color. I love them. And yeah, I'm already on the second sock. So, I may purposely try to set these aside for now and work on some other projects since, like I said, I really, I have a lot of pairs of socks. Um, so, granted, I love wearing my hand-knit socks, so it's not a big deal, but I do have other projects that could use some love. So that was my new cast on for this past week and like I said I've basically been knitting on this because it was simple knitting while I was on vacation and then just simple knitting in the evenings. So that is my last work in progress. Let me see. I'm trying to see what I have next for you. Um, next up would be spinning. I have done some spinning. I actually started it yesterday. Um, let's see here, where's the tag? No, nope, that's not the tag. That's the tag. Um, I'm knitting up, the, or knitting up, I'm spinning up this beautiful fiber. I divided it into two. Um, so there's a, a little more of a representation of what we've got going on. Um, um, but I'm knitting it out of Camelot Dye Works. Let's see if it'll focus remotely. Uh, Camelot Dye Works Fiber. This is her Mermaid Lagoon colorway, and it's 40% merino, 40% superwash merino, and 20% Tessa silk, uh, four ounces in total. And this is spinning up like butter. Um, I don't even know what to say. I started spinning it yesterday, and it was spinning up so beautifully. I didn't want to stop spinning it. So I actually spin, I spun up about half of my first half of the braid. It's still on the wheel, so let's see if I can do this. Ugh. It's still on the wheel. Oops. Totally just lost a peg. <laughs> can you see it? Can you see it in all its glory? It's probably not going to focus. I'll also insert a photo because this is a little ridiculous. Um, but. There, put the peg back. But anyway, <laughs> that aside, um, it's spinning beautifully. I'm going to do a two ply. Uh, I'm guessing this will be about a fingering weight when I'm done because I am spinning this pretty thin. The last yarn I spun, which is still sitting here, um, is certainly thicker than a fingering weight, but I'm guessing that's what I'm going to get out of this because it's spinning so thin, and I'm I I don't mind spinning thin. I really can't spin thick anymore, so it's one of those things. I knit with mostly fingering weight yarn, so I really don't mind if my hand spun is a fingering weight. But anyway, that's the only spinning I have going on. I know it's tour de fleece, and for all you non um, spinning people, uh, there is a popular spinning. Uh, event that goes on during Tour de France, which is basically you spin every day that they are riding their bikes for Tour de France. And I used to participate in it. I haven't for many years because I haven't spun as much. But the few years that I did participate when I first got my wheel, I spun a lot of fiber during those weeks. Um, and it's, it is a competition. People try to spin. It's more of a self-motivated competition, but you can join groups online and spin for teams, uh, but basically you just try to spin as much as possible and then your yardage at the end of it counts for how much you actually spun. But anyway, I feel like it used to be a bigger deal 
like five years ago and I feel like it's not quite as big of a deal I'm looking at my wheel um, now but I completely forgot about it and I was like eh, I just want to spin so I'm not participating this year but I am spinning so there is that Oh, but that's my only spinning right now. I don't have any upcoming whips for spinning because I haven't finished this yet. And I only have one wheel, so maybe someday I'll have more than one because I'm crazy. But I only have the one wheel, so I've only got one project going. Um, let's see. Upcoming cast-ons. I've already mentioned it. I need to knit socks. We're going to move on because I'm sick of hearing myself say it and it's constantly running through my head. Um, but the other thing that I've kind of wanted to do again is crochet some jewelry. Um, I used to crochet jewelry with uh, crochet thread and then I have beads. And I kind of want to try it again. I haven't done it in a long time so I'm kind of playing around with that idea. We'll, just, we'll see if I actually get to it because it's not super pressing. but. I had the, I was kind of thinking about it the other day, I'm like, I really want to do this, make some earrings or something. So, I may do that. We'll see. Oh, uh, stash enhancements. I'm looking at my notes over here. Stash enhancements, none. Didn't purchase any yarn uh, while we were on vacation, I didn't go to any yarn shops, so. No stash enhancements. Uh, for non-knit loves, it's a, well, I have two. One's a little random, because it's technically knitting related, but I finally... <sighs> finally bit the bullet and bought two clear plastic storage containers for my hand knit sweaters and the hand knit socks and the hand knit shawls that are made out of wool. Uh, we don't necessarily have moths here but I've seen enough different bugs. Oh, this I was trying to kick me out. I've seen enough different bugs and stuff that I'm just like I better be safe. So I have put them in clear containers. Eventually I'll get some Maybe like cedar blocks or something to put in there just as an extra protection but I you know if I'm knitting more sweaters and more lace shawls and things like that I it's not I'm not so worried about the socks but I'm more worried about the shawls and the sweaters I don't want them to get eaten by moths so I've got them protected now which which is good it felt good to get that done so those are in the closet and all happy my other non knit love as I reach forward um, this is a random one I don't even know you'll be able to see it. Can you see him? Kind of. This looks very humble, but this is a Christmas cactus start, um, and this is actually pretty special. I, I'm hoping I can get this guy started more. Um, my mom had a Christmas cactus, which is actually from my great great grandma. It's probably over 80 years old. The cactus, and if not more. I could be undercutting it quite a bit actually. And unfortunately the past couple years the plant itself, the large plant that my mom had and then my dad and I were taking care of, was starting to die. I mean it had been over the years but it was finally like you could tell it was just it didn't like the pot it was in and it was just starting to die and no matter what we did it could we couldn't get it to come back. So we were talking and he was really sad and I'm like, well, you could try starting some uh, leaves from it because there were still viable leaves on it. And he started one and it actually worked. It, it, he, he tried a few, but one of them took. And then he tried a second batch and this one took. And so I am going to, ch so this one is mine. The one my dad kept is considerably larger. Um, and so he successfully got it to grow so I'm gonna try to grow this one and have a Christmas cactus and we'll have the legacy live on for the hundred something year old Christmas cactus so this is pretty special and I'm glad we were able to keep it in the sense that it's got cuttings now so hey Christmas cactus more plants of course well, let's see other than that, we'll just move into night life lately. Uh, last weekend we went, or last week into weekend, we went on vacation. We went to visit Eagle River, Wisconsin, and then we went up north into the Upper Peninsula to visit home a little bit. It was a nice vacation. It's weird um, because, you know, every, we're still in lockdown, so you're still trying to be safe and not try not to go out as much and everything. But we still wanted to see my family. So we saw family. It was great. Um, we saw a few friends, uh, not many. We only saw a couple families just because, again, 
it's social distancing. You don't really want to visit everyone. And these are these are people who are 100% wanting to see us and were excited to see us. So it was one of those things where it wasn't they were weren't forcing ourselves on visiting anyone. Um, so it was a really nice visit. It was weird going back up because we haven't been up to Houghton, the Houghton area since we moved in November. So it was kind of weird going back up there. And then especially under the circumstances going up north and then really not being able to see many people just because pandemic. So it was one of those things. It was a little, it was weird, but it was certainly good to go up and visit. I know we're certainly, we're certainly glad to be home. We did bring Midnight with us because we didn't have anyone to watch her. And we are kind of uh, training her to travel with us, which may sound odd, but she's doing really well. Um, we did have one issue. Um, we had an accident on the way up when we went up north, uh, but then on all the all further travel, we figured it out and we have a system for her now that works really well and she's comfortable with and she basically just sleeps between the two of us. So it was a good trip. Um, I'm sad it's over, but such is life because uh, the week before I was manically trying to get ready for work and then I completely forgot that this week I took Monday off. And then I had Friday off because of 4th of July. I completely forgot, didn't plan it. So it was kind of a nice and unexpected extra day this week where I could get some stuff done that I had left from before vacation or un hadn't unpacked yet. So that was good. I'm trying to think. Yeah, there's really, other than that, not much is going on. I think that's what the whole world can say right now. Not much is going on. We're staying home. Uh, so with that, I'll just wish everyone a happy 4th of July if you're in the States. If otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you are in the States and you're celebrating, please be safe. Um, don't go out into huge groups if you can avoid it. But, you know, just just be safe. Whatever you need to do to be safe, that's what you need to do. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, if you would like to find me anywhere else on the internet, you can find me on Instagram as Victoria Schwanke. I'm most active there. You can find me on Ravelry as Lil Westy. Facebook, I am a little bit active on. You can also find me, of course, on the blog, woollymastodon.wordpress.com. That is where I keep all of my show notes. And then, of course, on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe, comment below, and share it with your friends so we can just grow this community on the internet. And thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next podcast. Bye. Yeah, he's a